Hello, welcome back to another plan with me. This week, I am planning for the week of the 4th to the 10th of March, and this was a really exciting week because Sophie, who is actually a customer, messaged me and asked if she could come and film for a week for her like university dissertation, and I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. So we organised for her to come this week, and she basically filmed like a documentary about like planner face and running a small business and just sort of like everything that goes into that and it was the perfect opportunity for me to use the planner shop kit which was art that Nella released last year and the whole theme is like planner shop like small business owner but like specifically sticker shop and she actually featured me as a fashion person in the kit and that was like so fun as well but this was the kind of kit where I was like I don't know when it would be appropriate to use because it's almost like too appropriate for me because like this is my week most weeks so like because there was a vlogging camera box as well I was like well this is probably like the most appropriate time to actually use it so I pulled this one out I had a couple in the last chance section so I just took one for myself and yeah like I think it's the perfect kit for this occasion I'm not using a full foil pack this week, I just have like a bunch of leftover gold underlay sheets and they all have the icons on them as well so that's perfect for me to do like kind of a minimal foil spread and I did take a sheet of, um, it was like the washi page where you got like the date dots so that I could just have my foil date dots as well. So that's all I've got in terms of foil and then I've got my March script which is just on the large month sheet. And then for like the highlight of the week, I've just got Sophie was here and I've used a little camera icon. It was so interesting for me when she came because obviously like she had like camera equipment because her degree is, I don't know exactly what to do with film, obviously. And um, so she had these like gigantic cameras, but they were Sony cameras and I use Sony. So like I recognized things on them, like the buttons were like the same kind of thing. They were like almost familiar but then like huge and really high tech and it was just so interesting to me and I was like asking her these questions like oh what does this do and I found it like so like educational <laughs> and at this point I was having an issue with my camera and it was basically causing me like not to be able to vlog because I kept having like weird kind of ghosting like with the frame rate I don't really know what caused it but anyway like she suggested to like ch change something and it worked <laughs> so I actually fixed my camera this week which was super exciting um, but yeah, so I'll go into the day by day plans. So on Monday, I started with a like quick clean because I spent the weekend cleaning because I like, just, you know, when someone's coming to a house, you feel like you have to like get rid of everything that shows signs of life. So <laughs> I had a little bit of a clean on Monday, just like anything that I hadn't got done. Then, so in between this time, Sophie did arrive, but I didn't really mark that because she was here like Monday to Friday. So um, I did my shipping labels because I'd done orders but I hadn't posted them but I was trying to like conserve things for her to film because I was well for most of the week we just kind of collected b-roll and then we did like the sit down talky bits on the Friday so throughout the week we were like thinking of like what could we talk about that we've like got footage of so we did a little bit of orders on this day so I did the labels we then did the post run and this kit was actually like really fun to use because on the clip art page there's kind of just like relevant items I could use for the icons. So I've used the little like Dymo printer for the post run and then like a storage tray for put kits away which just like worked out really well because that's kind of an awkward task that I never know how to mark. So that was good. I did a lot of designing this day. So this was when Jess released her wedding art and she had like two colour versions and I did both of them. And I also did the mermaid coffee doodles art this day. So I think I designed three kits in an afternoon, I think. I don't know if I fully designed them or if I, I think I just did the full kits. But anyway, like, I was super productive. And I think it was because, like, Sophie was there, like, filming me. And she wasn't, like, watching me. But just, like, having the accountability of having someone in the room with you <laughs> just, like, does wonders for me, apparently. So that was good. Um, and then in the evening, I, I, well, I didn't have room to mark some things so I also put that I finished kits I watched YouTube and I printed and cut doodles I think I did that while I designed but I like used way too many boxes didn't have room <laughs> so I didn't mark those things but I just marked that it was a productive day so that was the Monday on to the Tuesday we started with a little walk I think this was just me and Ari because I was trying to like take him out like before she got here so he wasn't too excited but he honestly did really well like 
he is just a very excited boy and especially with guests but as he's getting a bit older he's sort of calming down a lot more but I think it just helped that she was here for the whole week so he got used to like the same person whereas when like guests normally come they probably only come for like a few hours or a day so that was helpful but anyway took him for a walk and then I came back and I knew I was gonna film my I think I just did one plan with me but I was gonna film this day so I worked on my memory notes so I could do my custom scripts I think this was the day that I posted a reel where I did that game where it's like try and try and not say the same thing as me and I filmed that really quickly before Sophie got here and I posted it then I oh so this was fun I obviously like had such a productive Monday I was like yeah we were gonna like be really ahead this week I started to print and then realized that my printer was doing the really fun thing where it prints lines through everything which basically means the print head's dying so I have like certain things I can do to troubleshoot that but it was also doing this thing where it prints I think like Canon users call it like a pizza wheel error but it basically prints like black lines down your page vertically um, and normally to me that's a sign where like it's it's too late just like replace it <laughs> so instead of having a meltdown I was like let's just go to Argos and pick up a new printer so <laughs> me and Sophie got in the car drove to Argos and Argos is next to well it's inside the Sainsbury's but it's next to a Tim's and I was like do you want to get a Tim's and she was like yeah um because I don't know if she's I think I think she's had it before but I don't know if she's had it much I don't know Sophie feel free to like add anything in the comments if there's anything that you want to like say or answer like correct me feel free because <laughs> I know she watches these videos so yeah we went to Tim's and I think I got like a I don't know if I got a chicken burger, but I definitely got a coffee. I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, so that was nice. Then we, I, I filmed my plan with me. And I think Sophie was just like editing on her laptop while I did that. Um, I did the voiceover, I think probably in the evening. So Sophie came in the morning and we like normally work till like five or six, I think. Um, so I did have the evenings to myself. So I did the voiceover and then I think I just like did some website edits. There was a day this week that I tried to like attend a Pinterest course and it ended up being like, rather than actually being an informational course, it was basically just her upselling a more expensive course. <laughs> so I don't know if I didn't mark that, but that was just something I remember from the day. Um, on Wednesday, we, oh yeah, so this is fun. Um, I, I was like, should we go to Bruggett Park with the dog? Because obviously, like, we're trying to get his beans out early. But we thought, like, let's show Sophie Bruggett Park, which is, um, it's a park. It's like a nature park near us. We go quite a lot. So if you watch the vlogs, you've probably seen it before. They have, like, deer and it's really pretty. It's actually, like, historically was gifted to the people of Leicestershire, which is my county. Um, so, like, it's not, it's, like, publicly owned. I don't know, a fun fact. So yeah, we took Sophie there to have a look around, walk the dog. Then when we got back, I printed and cut some of the new releases because obviously I've got a new printer now, so that can all go ahead. I designed some journaling kits because I normally do those after I've done the weekly kits because there's elements in them that I take from the weekly, so I have to have like done that already. Then I have moved my planner, so where? There we go. I, I packed some orders and I used the Fox and Cactus Happy Mail sticker. So I did mention I wanted to reorder the order packing girls, but I found these in an old reusable album and I was like, oh, they're really cute. They'll work. So marked packing orders. After that, I took some photos of the new releases and also of some albums. So when I was going through like my event stock, I realised that I had quite a lot of like old albums and I was going to have my new delivery of large albums by the time I went to an event. So I thought like I might as well just list the ones I've got on the website just so that like I can move on to the new albums for like events. So I took photos of those as well. I was going to mark this with like a half ombre box but I thought it might be fun to like just use little check boxes and I think it looks really cute. But then I was like what do I tick them off with? I was trying to see if I had any like transparent ticks or like anything that worked foil wise and I didn't really like the look of the like confetti cluster on it so I saw these pens that I'd got on my desk and thought like maybe if one of them matches close enough so 
This one's a sl like slightly too green and the other one is very much too blue. Although looking at it on camera, the blue one honestly like looks maybe better, but in person the other one looked better. So <laughs> that's why I went with the darker green one. Um, so yeah, I did that and then I wrote a blog post. I can't remember. I've been doing okay at like getting a couple of blog posts out, uh, mainly for like SEO, but also like I'm not hating doing them. It's just a different kind of format. Like I'm used to creating videos and short form like posts, but like blogs are interesting. <laughs> so yeah, I've been, I haven't done many recently, but I did a couple in like February, I think. Then uh, we just watched some YouTube. So moving on to Thursday, I washed my hair in the morning. I ended up marking this with a crafty rat in a bath <laughs> because I ran out of my hair washing emojis and I need to order some. But I was like, what have I got in the reusable album that I pulled out? Because that album is, I think it's my first reusable album that I ever set up. So there's loads of stuff in there that I haven't really reached for in like at least multiple years. So I need to go through and just kind of like at least re-familiarize myself with what's in there, even if I don't move it, just so that I know what I've got to use. Um, so yeah, I marked hair wash with that, which looks really cute. Then this was the day that I decided to use the full box of myself. <laughs> so I put that in, no specific reason. I think the purple planner matches like the purple day, but I don't think I really thought about that at the time. <laughs> um, and then I marked that I worked on listings this day for the new releases. I then marked that me and Sophie, well, I didn't mark that me and Sophie, but I know that me and Sophie went to the co-op and we got a meal deal. I don't remember like what I actually got, but I remember going. I love showing people my like local area, even if it's something as mundane as like the supermarket. Like, and also I love seeing other people's local area. Like I went to Kat's recently and I saw like the Tesco and like, she's like sent me voice notes, like walking from and like to and from Tesco. But then to see the actual Tesco, like put so much, like it gives my brain all the context so like next time when she mentions Tesco, I'll know like what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird. I thought it was really interesting. Um, so yeah, it showed Sophie the co-op. <laughs> then I collated some kits, probably in the new releases. And I worked on a few restocks this day as well. So I got to use the like icons from the kit. I've got like three in a row. Looks so cute. I put together some oops bags. I remember doing like script and doodle oops bags this day. So I think I released those on the Friday. And then... We watched a movie. <laughs> I don't remember what it was about. It's called Annihilation. Um, and so Tom's, he's always in like his sci-fi era, but he like specifically likes sci-fi movies at the minute. So we were just watching some like random ones and I, I have no idea what it's about. I don't remember at all. <laughs> so uh, apologies to the filmmakers. <laughs> so on Friday, first thing I marked was I did my social media posts. Sometimes if I've got a bit of time, I'll schedule them ahead of 12 p.m. which is like obviously ideal um so I marked that with a little social media bunny which like these are new doodles that came out around easter time then me and ari went for a walk again with sophie and i marked that with a little like rottweiler sticker cat got me these for christmas and they're so cute so this was the last day that sophie was here so we filmed like the sit down bits so it was really cool because she had like two cameras set up at like different angles and she was like, asking me questions. So she was sat in the middle and she was like trying and talk at me, not at the cameras. And I was like, okay. So it, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Like, I mean, I haven't seen the footage and I'm, I don't really remember what I said. Like, it's a bit like, you know, when you like perform on a stage, I don't know if anyone else gets this. Um, like when it's over, I, you cannot remember anything that happened. Like that's how it feels. Um, but I think because I do film myself, it was a little bit less weird than I was expecting. Like if she'd asked me like three years ago to do it, I would have been like, no, I cannot do this. <laughs> but yeah, I think it went like absolutely fine. Um, so we did some filming for a little bit in the morning and then, <laughs> um, we went to Asda because I, I'm in like this bargain group on Facebook and people will share like when like there's like good deals basically at the supermarket and stuff. And they had got on that Asda had like, I think they were half price Easter eggs, only like the little ones, but it worked out like 60p for like over a hundred grams of chocolate, which is like really good if you know like the going rate of chocolate at the minute, which is chocolate super expensive. So um, we went to Asda in the middle of the day and we just got like 
they were like bringing more out but I think we'd got there as they like brought the last amount out so we did get our easter eggs but if we'd gone any later I don't think we would have got any oh my god there's a cat in my garden <laughs> I can see it and like the dog hasn't seen it yet so <laughs> I don't know if uh we'll get some commotion in a minute but anyway um yeah I marked that we filmed some extra b-roll in the afternoon just like based on things we'd spoken about Oh, now the rabbits are drinking <laughs> based on anything that we'd spoken about like in the sit down bit that we needed kind of extra b-roll to cover so like i said this was the last day so i said goodbye to sophie and ari was really upset <laughs> that she left because like every day he'd like got like he like looked forward to her coming so my poor boy um then in the evening i designed the mystery kit and we watched another movie this day this was called burn and i think it was more of like an indie film it was like set just like in a petrol station like really wasn't much set apart from that um but it was um it was okay like i probably wouldn't like go out of your way to see it but if there was nothing on like it was okay <laughs> oh i'm i'm not a film critic so like take everything with a pinch of salt I did watch something good recently though, um, what was it called? I don't know, I watched Dune 2 as well recently, that wasn't the one that I forgot that was good. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving on to Saturday, uh, I went to Sainsbury's Cafe in the morning for like brunch, me and Tom love a Sainsbury's Cafe, then I did some designing, so I marked that with a foil star icon, these stars are like my favourite because they're like really like thick so you get like a lot of solid foil. Then I worked on some website stuff. I spent a lot of last month just sort of changing like the homepage and trying to get like my site speed up and just like messing with things that don't probably don't really matter. I ended up placing like a lot of emphasis on things that probably wasn't like worth it. But anyway, um, <laughs> that's just like me in a nutshell, I think. Um, my tooth started to hurt this day and like luckily it didn't really like turn into anything, but it was annoying. So I marked that with a sad emoji. <laughs> I marked the Formula One, so this race was in Abu Dhabi and it was on the Saturday. So I used a yellow like track card to mark that. Then we had games night like usual with Julia and Sean, so we played a bit of plate up. And then I think this was like towards Sean's birthday. I don't know when his actual birthday was, I can't remember. I'm such a bad friend. Um <laughs> but so we played plate up and then we played Wiki Speedruns, which I think was his choice. Um very fun, love Wiki Speedruns. Then after we finished games, me and Tom just watched some YouTube before going to bed. So moving on to Sunday, um, this was actually also Mother's Day week, but my mum went away <laughs> on Mother's Day, so I didn't see her at all. I ended up seeing her like two weeks later, so um, I didn't like use a Mother's Day themed kit at all. I thought like this one was like way more kind of in terms of like what happened in the week, kind of more encompassing of the entire week. So um, I did mark Mother's Day with a like Coffee Monsters Co um, emoji and I've got so many of these holidays left. I originally was going to use the one that had like Mother's Day written on it but I kind of like my script fonts to all be consistent so I ended up like using the one on its own without the writing. And I think I forgot to say but I'm using custom scripts from my shop and this is font 5 I believe. Yeah, so this is when I was like sifting through the sheets trying to find which one to use. Um, I can't believe I bought all these sheets and then just like completely forgot about them. Because even like the like the St. Patrick's Day one, forgot to use that. <laughs> like all of the earlier in the year holidays as well. So um, I marked Mother's Day. And then it was also our nephew's birthday. So I marked Happy Birthday Lucas to him with a present foil icon. And um, so this week... I think it was the Friday, um, but Eternal Sunshine, Ariana Grande's new album had come out and I hadn't really had like much of a chance to listen to it. So Sunday was the day where I did like my like big listen. Uh, really love it. I think it is great. Obviously now, um, Torture Poet Society is out. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to fit in like listening to both of them. Um, but yeah, like big fan of Eternal Sunshine. So next I marked that I did some designing and I'm just like trimming some of the underlay so that I can like fill the gap. But yeah, so I marked designing using like a piece of clip art from the kit so I could like get the perfect like green color match. Then afterwards I marked that we went to my in-laws for lunch, so Tom's parents, um, for like a Mother's Day lunch kind of thing. 
um, and then when we got back I filmed a video so I think I did a plan with me this day um, and I just marked it with a stick with the Planko girl because she kind of has like the right coloured shirt like it's a little bit more green but it, it works like well enough then I marked like washed my hair and I found these little bunny hair washing stickers these are from like a, a bunny sampler sheet from Once More of Love so I don't keep them with my wash hair stickers which is why I didn't like remember them before and then we watched another movie in the evening we watched con actually this wasn't a movie this was a I think it was I is it a show it, I think it was maybe on Apple called Constellation and again like I don't really I mean to be honest it's like sci-fi is not my genre but there are some that I kind of enjoy um and I think episode one was okay but like we haven't gone back and watched more of it so I clearly wasn't like that big of a fan but yeah so that was how we ended Sunday so this is the completed spread in my memory planner thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one bye